Hello, welcome to the 10 day trend in which I'll mostly be talking about wind, rain and something called retrogression which could ultimately result in less wind and rain but for the next few days certainly the weather stays very autumnal and by that I mean further bouts of wet and windy weather, low pressure arriving on an active jet stream. The jet stream relatively flat across the Atlantic and pointed our way and that's why during Wednesday we've seen gales around Irish Sea coast, we've seen some heavy rain move in from the west. Now by the start of Thursday that rain associated with this cold front is trying to clear the southeast, but a kink in the jet stream may just twist it and turn it and keep it there for a bit longer. So, well, for East Anglia in the southeast, it may be a wet day and that rain on and off through the day. Elsewhere across the country, brighter skies compared with Wednesday, but not exactly settled. There's going to be further blustery showers in the west initially, and then this cluster of potentially very lively showers affecting southern and southwestern districts through the evening and into the early hours of Friday. And when I say lively, I mean there could be some thunder, gusty winds, hail even, because we've got quite warm seas at the moment and that warmth will be fueling these showers, rising air resulting in towering cumulonimbus clouds, especially around the south coast. Now, there's some concern about how this rain will end up during the early hours of Friday around the south of England in particular. Uh, on this model run, we've got the rain mostly sitting out over open seas, not affecting the land as much by 3 a.m. Friday. And that's because we've got low pressure sitting over the English Channel. However, there is some doubt about the position of that low pressure. Now, we run the computer model lots of times and uh, you can see here, it's quite faint, but the outline of the UK, three model runs ago, so this time yesterday, this is what we were looking at, three model runs ago, all these dots indicate from each different model run the location of that area of low pressure, quite tightly clustered around the English Channel, so that indicated that this time, yesterday, we had good confidence that that low would be roughly in that place. But, a couple of model runs later, and there's a greater spread, there's a greater variation in those areas of low pressure and where they're sitting across the UK, some much further north. Now, what that means is there's something that's just causing some confusion in all these different computer models as to where that low pressure will end up. And as a result, where the heavier rain will end up and it's been wet in places. And as a result, we don't necessarily need a huge amount of rainfall in a short space of time during the early hours of Friday, which could happen if those computer model runs that have the low further north end up being the case. So certainly something we'll keep uh, we'll be keeping an eye on. That's early Friday. Otherwise, for the rest of the UK, we've got clearing skies and lowering temperatures. Friday morning will start off chilly, a frost in places in some sheltered spots as low as minus three or minus four Celsius. Fast forward to the afternoon. It was still a cool day, certainly lower temperatures compared with what we saw at the end of October. And Friday looks like the nadir in the temperatures over the next 10 days because they're going to start to climb after this. So Friday, 11 to 13 in the south, 9 to 11 in the north. Still some showers around, mostly affecting the west, not as lively as the ones overnight, and some sunny spells in between. So Friday, a calmer period with a ridge of high pressure, but at the same time, waiting over the Atlantic, this very deep area of low pressure. Now, just to trace that back and where it's come from, this is, uh, well, soon to be Hurricane Martin and another area of low pressure there over North America. And what they do is they join together. Martin undergoes what we call extratropical transition. So it basically transforms with the help of the jet stream into a mid-latitude area of low pressure, no longer a hurricane, but it's sitting there over the mid-Atlantic. Now, these very tight ice bars aren't going to really affect the UK. We're gonna see the weather thrown ahead of this low. So I don't need, you don't need to worry about that so much, but it will lead because of that jet stream pushing weather systems our way, it will lead to another bout of rain and strengthening winds on Saturday. So Saturday starts off dry and bright with a chill in the air first thing, but we'll soon see some rain spread in from the west. And then by Sunday, that rain's clearing the southeast. However, just like I mentioned for Thursday's rain in the southeast, it could linger for a time or even clear and then return, just depending on how the jet stream starts to twist it and turn it once more. Elsewhere across the UK, a bit more straightforward on Sunday, brighter skies but blustery showers, still a strong wind. I think coastal gales associated with this uh, area of low pressure as it pushes 
things through during the weekend. And the heaviest and most frequent showers are expected towards the northwest of Scotland, some hail and thunder and so on. Now, with all that weather happening through the weekend, temperatures will be climbing. And so Sunday morning, for example, will be a mild morning compared with Friday morning. But of course, we've got those bouts of showers or rain to contend with. Now, Sunday afternoon's temperatures also a little higher compared with the next couple of days. So we're looking at 13 to 16 Celsius in the south, 11 to 13 further north. Not as warm as last weekend, but those temperatures are on the rise. And I'll just show you this for a middle part of the UK. This is a kind of central area just to represent, just to be representative of the whole of the UK. The red line and the red boxes are the daytime maximum temperatures and the blue line and the blue boxes are the overnight temperatures. So the, the lines indicate the average for the time of year and then the boxes indicate the forecast for each of these days going out to the next couple of weeks. And you can see that dip on Friday, so the temperature's coming just below average, both by day and by night, and then a steady climb into the start of next week, and in fact, beyond, looking like Friday, some error bars there, but could be a much warmer day once again. So through the next 10 days, the temperature trend after dipping on Friday looks like rising. And there is a good reason for that. And it's to do with something we call retrogression. Now I'm just showing you the uh, weather chart at the time recording, Wednesday. And what we've got is low pressure quite close to the UK in this flattish jet stream. And that means we've got westerlies, hence the temperatures closer to average. We had southwesterlies or southerlies at the end of October. But if I skip forward to that um, ex-hurricane and uh, Martin, and what's happened is it's, it's further away from the UK. So the jet stream is diving a bit further south, it's less flat, and what we've got coming up from the south and southwest, these southwesterly winds. So we've, we're changing from westerlies gradually through the weekend to southwesterlies, hence the milder weather returning. And that's called retrogression. I'll show you another example of that with four charts for the next couple of weeks. So this is early next week, and this shows the most likely weather pattern for early next week, 84% probability that we'll have low pressure to northwest of the UK. And these winds coming up from the southwest, it's likely to be a wet and windy weather day again with the strongest winds towards the southwest later Monday and spells of rain moving in to affect many places, but particularly the west. Now, the next chart for the middle of next week looks very similar, but watch the position of the low pressure. It's a different low, but watch the position of it. It just edges a bit further east. So rather than progressing, the weather pattern progressing west to east, it's retrogressing. It's a different low, but the main area that will be affecting is slightly further west. And as a result, the pattern for the UK becoming more southwesterly and becoming a little bit milder as a result. And also, we're going to see the wind and rain more affecting the northwest with drier weather starting to come in from the southeast, higher pressure towards the continent. And by the end of next week, again, a subtle change, that low and that high slowly moving their way westwards again. And in this situation, again, this is the most likely weather pattern. It's not the most, it's not a guaranteed weather pattern, but it's the most likely weather pattern for the following weekend. That would give us a southerly airflow, still some unsettled weather towards the northwest, still the chance that we'll see some of that affecting the southeast, but there's this trend emerging. Higher pressure towards the southeast, lower pressure towards the northwest, and a milder airflow, that wind coming up from the south or southwest. And if we dare to look beyond the 10-day period into the middle of the following week, you can see where this weather pattern, this retrogression may end up with higher pressure quite close to the UK. Now, by this time, the weather models are showing up all sorts of possibilities. So it's the trends we look at rather than the specifics. And this shows that nicely. Now, this shows those kinds of weather patterns represented by colours. And these bars show the probability of those different weather patterns occurring on each day out to the next couple of weeks. The blues represent low pressure close to the UK. The reds and oranges represent higher pressure close to the UK. And this blue here is uh, indicating typically southwesterly weather patterns. So that's unsettled southwesterly airflow through next week. But then the reds start to take over 
and that just indicates through the middle of November a trend towards higher pressure coming in from the southeast, from the continent, and starting to take over. But how we get there and the specifics day to day, of course, we won't be able to figure out quite at this stage. It's all about the trends, and that's what the main trend looks like doing. Now, just a message from the Met Office. Are you weather ready? Are you uh, thinking about how the winter weather might affect you? Uh, there are lots of things that you can do to get weather ready. Advice there on the Met Office website, but uh, things like planning trips and journeys ahead of time, making sure your car is in full working order and so on. So do check that out. But uh, for now, that's all from me. Bye bye.